Welcome back to Learn with Sam and Ash. I'm Sam and in today's video we will try to understand 9 tips using which you can get 9 in reading module of IELTS. So let's get started. Now these tips are set in descending order that means the last one would be kind of less important and the first one would be most important tip that you all should follow and you might not be following right now. So the first one or let's say in this case the ninth one is make sure your spellings are correct when you write an answer for any question in reading. All right, if we look here, the answer of let's say the second one is survey. So instead of the correct spelling, if we write S-U-R-V-A-Y, it's incorrect, okay? You have to write S-U-R-V-E-Y. Do you find the correct answer? If the spelling is incorrect, nah, you're not gonna get marked for that. So remember that correct spelling is important. Before we continue, let me tell you the registration for the IELTS master classes are on for the batch of 1st November. These classes will help you to get the bands within a one month preparation time. We take every day one session that is live session and the timing and details and the plans and everything are in a PDF below in the description. Just download it. Everything will be fine. You will understand how to register for that. So don't forget to download it. All right. Number eight always write answers in full capitals that means uppercase all answers you should provide in uppercase okay remember this let's see an example so if we look here we have sometime blank in the beginning of a question sometime at the end if it is in the beginning you have to start uh, the word with a capital for example the word is boat or the house let's say house is the answer for this one you have to write capital and then write like this. It's correct in this case. But what if what if we write like this here inside a blank? Let's say this one is a boat answer. You have to start with a small, right? But according to our tip, you should write all of them as capitals. That way you do not have to worry if it is the last word or the first word. This should be written like H-O-U-S-E. And this one, B O A T, both. This will make the answer correct no matter what. Seven, practice accordingly. That is computer based test or pen and paper. If you practice vice versa, you might not get the feeling in exam. Hence, do not forget or be prepared from beginning which test you want to go for. If you want to go for pen and paper, we have a full series on that in this playlist. And if you want to go for online, we have a video set just to get you started with that. And that the link for the video is in the description. Six, whenever you are practicing, do not practice without a timer. Always set a timer and then only you should practice. Nowadays, smartphones have become really smart. So if you have Android 4 or iPhone, doesn't matter. If you start any test, just tell the Google any assistant and they will be able to help you to get you started with the timer. So for an example, let's say, Hey Siri, can you start a timer for 60 minutes? Your timer is set for one hour. Now you can start your test and do it within the time. If you do not time your exam, you're gonna have trouble later. What are you gonna do in main exam if you didn't time it properly, right? So always time it using a smartphone. That will be the best way. Understand quick reading and never read aloud in the exam. I'll show you why. Now, what we generally read like, that is normal speed is, the New Holland Ferry Service then grew into a major link between the North and South Banks of the Humber carrying passengers and cattle and good bound for Hull Market. Now see, it took a long time because we took a lot of pauses. According to speed reading, what we do is we read a lot of words together in order to make them uh, like buckle up together, bundle up together. So let's read it this way. New Holland Ferry Service then grew into a major link between the north and south banks of the Humber, carrying passengers and the cattle and goods bound for Humber, Humber, sorry, Hull Market. What we did is we didn't take many pauses first of all. We clubbed many words. That is important. Moreover, when you do not read loud, you know, you can read it in your brain by yourself and it will be quicker. Number four, do not read the names of a person or a place and do not try to pronounce them perfectly. I'll show you why this tip is going to work. Here, just let, let's read this sentence, okay? While the danger to our seafood supply is really uh, is real enough, says Boris Warm Assistant Professor 
of marine conservation biology at Dalhousie University Canada well we do not need to use this name and also this name so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove them we are gonna say while the danger to our seafood supply is real enough say someone assistant professor of marine conservation biology at some place in Canada that's it this will help you to reduce the time to read the names and just another person or the, also the places so never pronounce or read the names completely just ignore them and say this person and that person when you want to find the name it's okay but when you're reading the full paragraph or the passage never read the names properly number three expect a paraphrase version or a synonym of a keyword whichever you have chosen do not expect anything simple in the in the paragraph that means if you found a keyword in your question and you think it'll be exactly the same in the paragraph you're wrong let me show you how let's try to solve this question here some blank will help you to discover the most effective places to advertise now you can find the answer from this send these sentences right easily so if you're advertising where they are just not looking it's wasted money that's why it pays off to do a bit of research our keywords in this play in this case were discover or help right and places but look here do you see any of these words here no instead of help they said instead of place they said where right effective word they said they are, they're just not looking right and also they said it pays to do a research that means it helps so expect synonyms and paraphrase version of the keyword you have chosen number two choose a keyword very carefully it should be unique and shouldn't be resembling the title of the paragraph you are going for let me explain what i mean by that now if you look in this question this is true false not given while climbing at big rock center it is compulsory to be attached by a rope you first you have to read this properly and you have to figure out a keyword if we keep big rock center thinking oh this is the name they're not going to change it think about it again look at this the title of the passage same big rock climbing center we cannot keep it we're going to find big rock center all over the passage so never keep such keyword make it unique something like class something like compulsory rope rope could be a good one it's a noun they might not change it so let's search rope first of all in this paragraph ah i found it here so definitely answer is somewhere here so i'm going to start the sentence master 11 meter high climbing walls using a rope harness for an unbeatable sense of achievement but they have mentioned compulsory have they mentioned anything compulsory no so we're going to keep reading or experience the thrills of climbing without any harness there you go they have mentioned you can enjoy as well without any harness that means without any rope and hence the answer goes wrong that means answer is false you see how easy it is when you understand what keyword to choose what not to choose this is the best way to figure out answers in reading and this is the most time wasting as well if you take the wrong keyword you're gonna go wrong for sure and the most important number one never read the full paragraph or all the passages in one go what i mean by that is remember our 10th and 12th grade whenever we used to get our question paper we used to just flatter the pages and see what is there in the question paper let me see if i can remove anything in the option you know to just get good marks or how easy is the test we always used to do that here if you do that you're wasting your time remember ielts reading is 60 minutes and 40 questions right so not gonna be fun trust me please do not keep changing pages start with the section one itself and just question one that's it no no do not need to go from question one to 40 every question initially now let's say i want to solve this question paper i'm going to take the paper and go through one page after another keep going to pages till the end this is going to waste so much time right when i'm taking the test it's not a good idea i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you understood something new and enjoy the tips and do not forget to register for the course if you need to clear ielts within a span of one month we provide everything material classes everything you need to crack ielts and get the bands you require so happy learning and good luck